Amen. Tracy. Yo. Amanda! Amanda! You better not be! Not in my house! Fuck you, Michael! Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, no, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll cop the session. I promise. You are dead, man! Oh. Fuck! Dead! Oh. Come here! Ah! You! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a brick in my bed. <sighs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! This truck yours? The guy's doing some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body to do it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? You wish he was dead. Is that a problem? Shit, yeah. dog shit, shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. He went left up there, dog. There he is. The fuck is he doing? Bushy fear bots fucking hit me, fuck! Fuck, man, I think he lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Where's that tiny little white fucker go? Okay, this is the turn. Hey! You don't want to fucking out! Yeah, hey, keep your eye out. Little bricks up there, look. Oh, shit. Coast doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debt. Michael, fine. You got the wrong idea, man. He's about to have a real clear idea where I'm coming from. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comp the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Oh, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Oh, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! Sorry, damn, but already! Push the pedal, huh? I think this is coming down, man. Man, fucking drop it. Oh, fuck. Ah! Fucking A. Let's see how he liked that. Whoa, man. Fuck. Fuck him. And yeah, fuck his deck. Hey, homie. I think you put a little more than a deck down. Yeah, it's a foolish man who builds his house on sand, baby. Hey, man, I don't think my boy Matthew was thinking truck when he wrote that shit.
Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Shit, we got some heavies on us, home. Are you kidding me? Yeah, can you do something? I'll try, man. Try. Be careful. Pop that dude. Chill. I got the one. Fuck out. Can you see them? Are they still back there? Push the pedal, man. We gotta move. All right, we managed to lose them? Got one of those bastards. I think you slipped him, man. Okay, we go back to my house and think about this. Wow, shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't... Get the what the fuck? Don't get the fence. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah. Well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No. Franklin. Maybe help, Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. I was a thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance a rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Fuck, Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? 
You're awful cagey. <laughs> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. appointment book, and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate. Hello. Here you go. Oh, you are such a sweetheart. I'm not even from here. Thanks so much. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, 
fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks bad up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so... Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. And now we scan. There it goes. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. You should do it. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. Hold on, I'll buzz you out. We got that! Hands up! You got cataracts? No! Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Doomed! I doomed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Now what's your problem, you don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me, I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life and a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk.
show America deserves. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame. Out. No, I'm watching Fame or Shame. Uh, fucking tits. No. Get back to bitter obscurity. <laughs> the finals continue with Sheena <laughs> Bob. You guys are going to the finals. Mimes on fire. Woo! What a talent. I have never seen someone set fire to their crotch before. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A s oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Ah. Security. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa!